dear friends good morning it is my proud privilege to welcome you on behalf of professor bramsing horticulture foundation bshf a not for profit organization and my own behalf to this 5h webinar series talk 8 bshf is thankful to nipa new india publishing agency new delhi for supporting this webinar series of bshf i am happy to welcome co organizers dr preetam kalia aishya rafi ahmed kidwiya wardi former head division of vegetable science and coordinator school of horticultural sciences icr iri new delhi and dr shalendra rajan former director icr central institute of subtropical horticulture lucknow today the webinar is on vegetables futuristic indian scenario by one of the top most indian vegetable scientist and vice chancellor dr acharya narendra dev university of agriculture and technology ayodhya kumar ganj up uh, dr bijendra singh who is known to most of you i am sure but he will be formally introduced by dr pitam kaliya ji shortly as per the title of the series the emphasis in this series of webinars is on future horticulture innovations and technologies a future horticulture must obviously be science and technology driven hence we would see in near future new vegetable varieties hybrids with useful traits transferred to commercial varieties and hybrids using modern plant breeding bio technological and it tools particularly genomics and data science some new vegetables may also crop up and new production system would also come up and perhaps dominate including increased use of organic inputs at the same time hydroponics too vegetables according to me are most preferred crops from every stake holder point of view starting from the farmer to the end use consumer everybody gets a return from vegetables sooner than expected as cash crops health and nutrition crops and roughage rich crop home garden and children education crops and all the wholesalers retailers processors whosoever is there Uh, connected and related uh, the vegetables are friendly but they have got a shortcoming that is a short shelf life you may say that is a negative point but whatever uh, at times is become <coughs> good also i see future flourishing vegetable industry in india dr bijendra singh would further enrich our knowledge on it friends questions can be raised in chat box which we will try to answer after the talk now i request dr pitam kaliya ji for formal introduction of the speaker dr kaliya ji please thank you sir uh, most respected uh, padam shri professor bram singh ji founder of bshf today's speaker uh, dr bijender singh ji 
वाइस चांसलर ऑफ आचार्य नरेंद्र देव यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड माय कोलीग डॉक्टर शैलेंद्र राजन जी हु इज को ऑर्गेनाइजर वुड बी जॉइनिंग लेटर इट्स माय प्लेजर टू इंट्रोड्यूस टुडे स्पीकर नन एल्स देन डॉक्टर बजेंद्र सिंह हु हेल्स फ्रॉम सादीपुर विलेज इन माऊ डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश and he has had his uh, schooling uh, from the village schools and uh, higher education <clears throat> from bhu and then he has uh, served uh, holistically in an institute of vegetable research for a long time rose to the position of director where after he has occupied the position of uh, director general of upkar before the present uh, position that he is holding as vice chancellor of uh, acharya acharya narendra dev university of agriculture and technology dr bajender singh has uh, contributed significantly to the uh, uh, general research of uh, vegetable sciences and specifically as improvement of vegetable crops contributing 59 high yielding vegetable varieties and hybrids many of them have a resistance to diseases and insect pests besides unique traits of many of them uh, these include 16 uh, varieties of uh, okra having 11 as op varieties and five hybrids seven in vegetable pea five in radish and uh, sponge gourd three in case of cauliflower bacilla bottle gourd two in case of chinpodium pumpkin tomato carrot chili and one each in amaranthus pointed gourd bitter gourd brinjal cucumber ash gourd and ridge gourd uh, i think across the vegetables he has uh, uh, contributed significantly for uh, the development of uh, different varieties in each of these crops which has been mentioned and of these uh, 29 varieties and hybrids Uh, were uh, released by CVRC Central Variety Release Committee for uh, cultivation at national level and uh, 30 at uh, SVRC by C SVRC at uh, state variety release committee uh, for the state of Uttar Pradesh uh, Dr Bijender Singh identified validated and registered 10 unique genetic stocks with the unique traits with the NBPGR especially uh, he has developed a unique tropical kale genotype uh, uh, for the first time in the world which flowers and sets seeds in the winter season in north indian plains and uh, he has uh, uh, contributed one genotype in case of pea uh, garden pea especially to say more specifically which bears uh, five flowers per peduncle that is Uh, multiple flowering uh, node also uh, dr vijender singh has uh, several uh, processes to his credit and 15 easy to cook and uh, ready to eat uh, processed products of vegetables he has developed uh, dr vijender singh has published uh, research finding in several national and international journals of repute and contributed 237 research papers 12 books 43 technical bulletins 23 manuals and 39 book chapters uh, besides 116 popular articles as a research manager uh, dr bijender singh as a project director uh, coordinator of uh, aicrp all india coordinator research project on vegetable sciences uh, has guided uh, the Uh, destiny of this program as the largest uh, network of 35 crops uh, with uh, uh, spread over 36 regular and 18 volunteer centers he was uh, instrumental in developing uh, national and international linkages uh, during his tenure as uh, director of the indian institute of vegetable research at varanasi and he has uh, been able to add 20 underutilized vegetables which are highly nutritious 
he has commercialized 51 technologies and licensed them to 37 private sector companies, resulting in their uh, rapid dissemination to the uh, needy. As a nodal officer of task force in PPVFRA of vegetable crops, he has uh, been able to contribute to uh, development of national test guidelines of nine vegetable crops. As Director General of UPCAR, uh, Dr. Bijender Singh provided needed support to the state government in agriculture research and development, both technically and financially monitored and guided 28 research schemes worth 4.35 crores under Shodh Nidhi being implemented in various SAUs, ICR and CSR based research institutions of uh, Uttar Pradesh. Dr. Uh, Bijender Singh has uh, uh, won various awards and recognitions because of his hard work that I have just indicated uh, that he has contributed as a scientist and uh, manager. He has been a recipient of most pre prestigious prestigious uh, awards such as he has several awards to his kitty but worth mentioning are Rafi Kam Ahmed Kidwai Award for Outstanding Research in Agriculture Sciences, Kalaya Krishnapurthi uh, National Award, Outstanding Multidisciplinary Team Research Award of ICR, Bijan Ratan Award, Dr. Kirti Singh Gold Medal Award of HSI and Dr. Vishwaji Chaudhary Memorial Award of uh, ISVS, Dr. Punjab Singh Vishistha Krishi Vagyanik Puraskar of UPKAR, Dr. Kirti Singh Lifetime Achievement Award of ISVS, Certificate of Recognition from PPVFRA, and Distinguished Service Award of uh, BioVed Research Society, Allahabad. Also, uh, Dr. Bijender Singh has been instrumental in number of institutional awards like Pandit Deen Dyal Upadhyay Rashtri Krishi Vigyan Prothsahan Award uh, Puraskar uh, twice in uh, 2022 20, 20, and 2019 for Krishi Vigyan Kendra Basti from ICR New Delhi at uh, ANDUAT Ayodhya. Sardar Patel Outstanding Award for Best ICR Institution, Chaudhary Devilal Outstanding Award for Best AICRP, Best Annual Report Award of ICR Institution, IIVR Varanasi, Best Krishi Vigyan Kendra Award to KVK Sargatia, and uh, uh, first uh, Raj Shri Tannan Rajya Vasha Pruskar, second Ganesh Shankar Vidyarthi Award, so many awards uh, that uh, uh, Dr. Bijender Singh has been able to uh, get to his kitty as vice chancellor of, uh, uh, at last, as vice chancellor of ANDUAT Ayodhya. In the limited period that he had to his uh, disposal, he has been able to contribute significantly to strengthen teaching, research, and extension program. And he has been able to bring a grant of rupees 105.9 crore from various state and national funding agencies. And he has been able to uh, bring the university rank ranking up from uh, 61 to 45. And he has initiated new degree courses in agribusiness uh, and has been able to uh, get all the vacant positions uh, uh, fulfilled. He has been able to get six KVKs as a center, excel, center of excellence. With this uh, uh, long uh, list of contributions that uh, Dr. Bijendar Singh uh, made during his uh, period of active period of uh, life, uh, which is quite significant, and uh, accordingly, he has been uh, awarded also by the system. So uh, we, today we are lucky enough to listen to him to the improvement of vegetables, uh, crops, as he has been able to guide the destiny of IIVR 
as a director and beside as a scientist for a long period of time. So we would be interested to listen to him. And the viewers uh, also are anxious to listen to uh, what he has got in his kitty for the uh, future of vegetable uh, sciences in India. Uh, with that, I invite uh, uh, Dr. Bijender Singh to take the floor and uh, educate us and the viewers. You are welcome. Two slides here, Karim. Kanji's slides, sir. Okay. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you very much, Dr. Kalia Sahab, for a nice word. Most respected Padma Sri, Dr. Brahm Singh, sir, President, Indian Society of Vegetable Science, and the Architectural Cultivation of India, as well as he is my personal mentor, with whom I have learned a lot since long association. I can say more than 36 years association with Dr. Brahm Singh, sir, when he was director at Tejpur. Since that time, I have just started my career. Dr. Kalia Sahab, really he is the legend in vegetable. He has contributed significantly in vegetable crop, particularly the root crop and crucifers. Dr. Rajan, really he has immensely contributed, particularly in the tropical and subtropical root crop. And many listeners across the country, those who are really vegetable scientists are the allies subject of the Indian agriculture. Particularly, if you will see the vegetable under the present scenario, more than 60 vegetables are being grown. Some part and other part of the country. Out of these, if you will see, nearly 30 are less alone or underutilized, but they are very rich in some nutritional value. Therefore, in vegetable across the country, if you will see but presently, almost all the vegetables are growing at one place or another place, either the hills or the just sea source or the plateau or anywhere. And only and only source of nutritional security of our country contributed tremendously, continuously, 4% growth. They are some, sometimes it's range from 4 to 6%, 7% also. But on an average, you see, they are contributing. Therefore, presently, globally, if you see, you are contributing nearly, the area is concerned, 14.8%, and production is 14.3%. Nearly decade before, Though you are there, nearly 14% in the area, but production was concerned nearly 10%. But nowadays, apart from the area, globally, our share is enhancing in the production also. And if you look, consider 1951 to now, nearly in production is concerned more than just 10 times 10 fold as you enhance and area is concerned nearly just uh, 5 times is there. So in this way, I not only the production and the area and productivity also you have just enhanced there and only due to this 300 gram vegetable has been recommended since long by ICFR. And you have already reached near nearly 2.92. Maybe calculation may be different mind to mind, but as per our calculation, nearly 2.292 gram per day or per capita per day availability is there. You have a lot of losses is there, some export value is there, post harvest management value addition you are just giving. As a phrase, you are just available. Fewer bite you will see decade before you are the leader, you were leader in okra, brinjal, peas, 
even though cauliflower. But nowadays, you are only leader in the okra and contributing nearly 66% globally. And second position in tomato, kaibes, onion, brinjal, peas, cauliflower and broccoli, as well as potato. So in this way, you are contributing second rank globally, but our sale is little bit more particularly in the cauliflower and broccoli approaching 38%. Earlier it was nearly 45 to 50% even though. And second is, is there nearly eggplant. Earlier our contribution towards the eggplant was nearly 40%, but nowadays you have down one. And 28% globally you are contributing. This data is not there, but globally I just missed the data. If you say this as per the state wise is concerned, certainly as per the area is concerned, the Uttar Pradesh and West Bengal, they are equally nearly 15% they are contributing. But the production is concerned, the West Bengal is the leader due to the high productivity, they are the leader and Uttar Pradesh is ranked second. After that, Bihar is there, nearly 9, 9% both area and production and then Maharashtra, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat and so on. This way, if you see the maximum contribution toward the vegetable is concerned, more than 50% contribution only from Uttar Pradesh, West Munga, Bihar and Odisha. Uh, if you add the Maharashtra, then more than nearly 60%. So in this way, the Northern Plain or the this you are contributing more than 60% in the total vegetable production and the cultivation is concerned in our country. Within the country, if you see, though national level our productivity is nearly 18, but within the country also there are a lot of variation. In one way, Tamil Nadu, they are growing, they are adopting the advanced technology, mostly the power system they are adopting and the drip and fertigation they are adopting. They are only state, the productivity is more than 25 and earlier it was nearly 30 ton per hectare was also there. But and in the second, in the same situation, the Nagaland, Mizoram, Sikkim and Manipur, they are a very suited climate for the vegetable production, but due to the lack of awareness and the market intelligence, their steel productivity is less. But a state like Rajasthan, though the climatic variation is not a pillar, this diverse type of climate is there, but some part of the Rajasthan, even though productivity is nearly more than 20, but the Thara desert area they were productivity is less than 5. Therefore, the average productivity in Rajasthan is below 10. So in this way, other states are in between. In spite of all the effort has been taken by the, either the government level or the NGO or the non-government private sector or the farmer itself, no productivity is the measure. And not only this, the sinking resources, particularly the natural resources is concerned, either the our per capita land holding is just sinking. Earlier 70s, nearly it was nearly 2 hectare. But nowadays, it has come down to nearly 1 hectare. And the state like Uttar Pradesh, more than 84% land just farmers having nearly 1 acre land holding is there and nearly 10% farmer having just two acres and only 6% farmer more than 6%. So similar situation most of the state is there and the water level is also just going below and the organic carbon on the soil also very less. So in one way, what are the natural resources either the, the soil or the less water and the air also they are also either the polluting or the sinking. And 
is still either the lack of planting material sufficient sufficient the planting material is not available and more important is that that planting of the seed material uh, are not available well in time so this is the also guy presently post harvest losses the different scientists and different agency have given the different level of post harvest losses by the icr and other sources also but practically crop to crop if you see not up to 5 to nearly 15 to 20% losses is also there and 1% losses it means you are nearly 230 just crores rupees is there losses is there so you can imagine then how much losses is already there then certainly the lack of climate resilient technology either the if you talk about the climate resilient the uh, mostly you talk about the either the moisture stress either high or low or the temperature or the either high or low two are those two are the major this which are adversely affecting nowadays because the rainfall is also there but the two component are the major just which are adversely affecting your vegetable production our country started the use of modern biotechnological approaches through the bt either the private sector and the public sector both way we were in the advanced stage particularly in the region in some private sector they also were advanced in even the kushi for kalifla and skyway also the work also initiated in okra also but due to the government policy we just shifted from bt to the genetic edited in later part of our slide we will discuss detail then the in real sense just you have seen the presently as per the whatever data available nearly 193 million ton production is there here you are not including the kitchen garden yeah i many more crop or under utilized crop just you have already said that more than 30 are there so that in real sense if you see i am the availability of the vegetable since very morning each and every part either the rural or the urban area and the thela wala or the every market the fresh vegetable you can just see it really is give us the real sense our real production may be more than 250 million ton but the data are not available but realization is already there so that the real data real time production data also is there so due to, to, to lack of the realistic data the the for the planner is concerned you are not able to focus or give more attention due to the like crop wise or the region wise and season wise plant health management and biosecurity got transboundary migration of many diseases even though due to the climate change the biotype are there changes are there even they stay the mutation in mutant is already there so these are the major care for the vegetable production is concerned presently but challenges is also there no government and non government agency they are just supporting a lot to the public and private sector but the challenges is there because government of india respected and honorable prime minister also given the doubling the farmer income when you talk about the farmer income then a two component is there either you have to reduce the input cost and enhance the input efficiency in the same time you have to enhance the productivity means from the same piece of land you have to enhance the production so but in vegetable crop really it is a challenge because because considering the market and the our adoption of the technology and the improved planting material availability of improved planting material 
just now you have already explained about the how our soil condition is there to protect the soil health certainly the conservation resources conservation technique you have adopted particularly the covering the soil or the minimum tillage or the diversification and out of these three only the diversification you have adopted because our vegetable mostly are the intercultural in nature but where the large scale cultivation is there those who have the large scale land also holding is there they are certainly adopting the conservation technique but due to the lack of land holding and in how to enhance the cropping intensity certainly to adopt the conservation practices is challenge nowadays and quality production because due to lack of awareness if you see the globally how the export is concerned and global market is concerned particularly the european union they are very much concerned about the quality is concerned and more than 135 chemicals either the pesticide insecticide fungicide or the hormon many many chemicals and very minute moral they are very less particular so that whatever the production is there and as per the data is concerned if you see the quality is the major challenge whatever the production is there therefore you have to produce the quality production nowadays and climate resilient vegetable production because the technology as well as the variety of the hybrid which are not presently which can which can be climate resilient is nature but research has already initiated and in due course of time certainly you will meet these challenges emergence of new decision in pest certainly just two times already come not only the earlier the many pests were the monophobes now it has shifted toward the polyphagous as the challenges is there the viral just you can see how much is stain t1 t2 many tomato now you have reached to the t10 so the challenges are there i as soon as you are just developing or this is identify the any breeding line the stain to the some stain the just mutated toward the another develop so this is the challenge and post harvest management certainly the value addition is still to just to regulate the market it is a challenge in our country cold chain is still not available and the processed or the revised form of the vegetable is still the only fresh form of vegetable is there though so that easy to cook and ready to easy to cook i am ready to eat concept is still in our country is the in a very primary stage particularly in vegetable so these are the challenges you have to meet these things i am the vegetable farming scenario just highly signal in nature labor intensive still you are not adopting the mechanization and perishable in nature cold storage are this system is still lacking i am the today talk is the purchase vegetable production it means still in our country you have already predicted and our target is either the 230 or 2030 or 2050 but when you talk about 2050 you have to just meet i reach nearly 375 million ton it means nearly 180 million ton you have to enhance I, you know the particularly whatever the acres under the vegetable due to the urban and the road all the every year every time this is the greater big challenge to just even to protect the whatever the acres is there in the vegetable so this is the target is there already and this target can be only achieved through enhance the productivity and still presently the 18 is there and you have already seen some part of some state already across the 25 and some are nearer to 25 and on average 18 is there but national level of you can reach up to 25 means 25 means it may be range from 20 to 
or they you can be average of 25 and really it is a very 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 challenge for this you have to enhance the crop intensity more than 300 or up to the minimum of 300 in farm vegetable growth in our country because presently the region specific and season specific is already there so you have to just break the boundary of all kind of things and you have to just develop a production technology because ultimately that should be very sound and sustainable in nature and it should be economically viable and available because it depends on the socio-economic condition of the farmers. Therefore, you have to give the technology which can be suited either the resource rich or resource poor farmers. May I audible, sir? Hello. Yes, sir, you are audible. You are audible. Yeah, good sir. Okay, thank you. Because some fluctuations are there here. No, so you are perfectly audible. Yeah. Future vegetable farming is concerned because the whatever the nature of farming, certainly the challenges will also emerge accordingly. And the future vegetable because the foremost criteria is the early varieties. Because the mid and late varieties are already there, but our challenge is there to either each and every crop, you have to just develop a variety of the hybrid, which should be early in nature, and restrain to the multiple stress condition, either the biotic or the biotic condition, and quality concern is also there. Why fortified vegetable? Because just this year, our honorable prime minister has already released more than 35 biofortified variety or vegetables are all already there. But in near future, because the carbohydrate and protein will be certainly for the other means and for the vitamin, minerals, phenolic, antioxidant, people will be only just consume vegetable so that you have to just go for the biofortified varieties. Vertical farming certainly that due to the just shrinkage of our land holding. Vertical farming you have to go in the future. Challenge is already there. Nearly 30 years back the protected cultivation was the very fascinating things but nowadays nearly most of the country Almost some of them, more than 90% of the open field, they are just only shifted from open to the protected cultivation. In our country, still, in spite of all the effort, and Dr. Brahms himself is taking very lead role and, and very systematically, but still, the very primary stage is there, you can say. Certainly, the hydroponics, though the cosmopolitan cities are already there. They have initiated, but still the very preliminary stages. In the near future, the people will be shifted from the open, open field to hydroponic protected or vertical farming. And either the protected cultivation or any kind of farming, particularly protected cultivation, certainly the disease are the challenges. And the grafting is the only means to meet the diseases, particularly the soil borne diseases. And nowadays in protected cultivation, you know the nematode is a major problem, the grafting vegetable, even though Korea, Japan, China, they have shifted particularly, not only the crucifer, not sorry, not only the solanaceous, but the most of the cucurbitaceous vegetable also they have shifted there. Then, since the people are very health conscious, though organic and natural farming, certainly in our country, natural farming is gaining momentum. Or government, government is very keen to popularize the natural farming so that here also how natural farming will be useful in the vegetable certainly this is a challenging task but as per the government policy we have to adopt or the just search the means how natural farming with a little bit modification in the organic resources to just 
adopt the natural farming, particularly in the vegetable production, is concerned. And certainly for the mechanization and the nowadays the precision agriculture. Certainly, in other country, those are advanced country, they shifted toward the precision agriculture. And microgreen. So you have all, already when I was director in the Indian Institute of Vegetable Research, you initiated the microgreen. Many countries, they are already microgreen is already there, particularly the vitamin E is concerned, and many nutrient is more than 200 to 400 percent is already there. The post harvest management management will be the major issue because the cold chain is still in preliminary state. In which value addition and the enhance the self life as well as the availability to the consumer, the post harvest management will be certainly is the key will play the key role in future vegetable production. Next. Breeding is concerned, as you are already there. Breeding should be according to the need of the consumer and market demand, nutritional quality, moisture stress and heat stress, and for the post service management as well as organic. Means for the future breeding in the vegetable is concerned, not for the ill is there, you have to shift it toward you have to shift it toward the these kind of things. And for this, certainly the biotechnological tools you have to adopt very precisely. And uh, for this, the first, for most, for the future is concerned, the gene pyramiding. Still, the work on gene pyramiding is limited to the, some crop and some research institution, is some university or the HRS institution is there. Here, you have to just give more and more emphasis for the gene pyramiding. And, uh, many diseases and pests and you have to just go for the pull the all the gene in a one or two or the few for the future bidding utilization in the future bidding program so whatever the bottom all all the alien mining or the genome editing you have to adopt this technique and particularly in our country even the double applied minimize the cycle for the research cycle even the crucifer in other country onion Chile, even though they were adopted in the commercial scale, but in our country, it's still in a very primary state. So here also you have to give more and more emphasis. And each and every breeding program should be linked with the market assisted breeding. Still, it is limited to only few just institutions and ESAOs. So these are the things for the breeding for the new variety. Some states you have to adopt. Even though presently more than 553 varieties, at the national level through ICRP, you have already nearly 35 crop, just different crop. As a pharma of variety, hybrid are registered, you have already just uh, identified and released and notified at national level for the different part of the country, and uh, they are producing the bitter seed and popularizing. So these are the things. But marker assisted gene pyramiding is still classical example, you are still giving the Arkaraksha. And the uh, Arka Samrat is concerned in tomato. They have just pyramided the bacterial built early blight, tomato liver virus is concerned. But this kind of things you have to replicate in many, many crops, particularly where the disease and the insect is a major problem. And along with this, you have to just incorporate the nutrition quality also. Because in future, along with the biotic and abiotic stasis, certainly the nutrition. Nutrition quality will be the one of the major issue, and there you have to just start the work. So these kind of things you have to just take the lead in your future. When you talk about the biofortified variety, really three component is there, either through the means of economic level biofortification, or the through the development of biofortified variety through the breeding. Or you have to just adopt the strategy of biotechnological biofortification. The economical means, you know, the lot of bifort, either the nutrition or the whatever the biofertilizer is already there. So means whatever the means is there, you have to just enrich 
the development of biofortified varieties, the germplasts, you got diverse, you have to just go for phenotyping, you have to just do it, and high nutritional profiling, you have to go for. So still the profiling and the phenotyping is limited to only few institutions of the few universities. So these kind of work are the biofortification, are this artification of the germplasm for the future, certainly these kind of facility you have to enhance in many, many more places and regional basis. So, so that either the SAU or the ICR based institution, they can do the, their regional crop because still you are only confined with the national crop so that you have to just sit toward the regional crop, particularly in the field of vegetable because vegetable, the regional crop is more important as per the nutrition or why fortification is concerned. So this strategy you have to adopt. <coughs> Certainly, when I talk about the vegetable, the many vegetable known for different nutrients. Carbohydrates, certainly the root crop or the tuber crop are more important. Protein is concerned. All the legumes are important. Vitamin A is concerned. The carrot is and leafy vegetable and that they are just the yellow color vegetable is there. Or certainly B1 is there, tomato chili, it means according to the nutrient, the different vegetable is there. And in near future, when time will come, then you will talk about the per hectare, this much quantity of production is there, then you will talk about the per hectare, how much quantity of the nutrient is producing from this much crop, because the vegetable will be only people will grow and they are consumed for the nutrient is concerned or the vitamins is concerned. So the people will not bother about the just yield per, uh, per hectare, this means a quintal or ton is concerned. How much nutrient you are just, just harvesting from the crop per hectare from the which crop and which variety. So accordingly you have to just be prepared for the future and accordingly you have to grow the vegetable yeah, vegetable variety, you have to select the vegetable crop so that you can just uh, harvest more and more uh, nutrient per capita, per, per area, per unit type. This is one component. Second component is there the color is concerned because earlier in the you are only known for the crop is concerned. X crop is for the X color. But in nowadays in the same crop, all kind of color is already available. Therefore, we have to give more emphasis because when you talk about the nutrient and vitamins, certainly it is linked with the color. Because if red color is there, certainly lycopene is there, yellow is color, the gentleful is there, or are they red or just blue or the black is there, the anthocyanin is there, vitamin is already there, it means is if green is there, certainly or the crucifer is there, the glycosinolate is there, it means according to the color, certainly the vegetable is already identified. Earlier it was there as per the crop is concerned, but within the crop nowadays, every color vegetable crop variety is available. So accordingly, you have to give more and more emphasis for the just health point of view, because they are very rich in antioxidant property that can reduce the risk of cancer or the cardiovascular diseases or the peripheral just diseases. So many, many are the just uh, molecular laser diseases. So whatever the diseases is there are particularly cardiovascular diseases, certainly vegetable can play always a very vital role. So we'll talk about the just cultivation. Certainly the vertical farming nowadays and in our country, other country, certainly Singapore, UAE, even though Japan, China, Korea, thus they have started in the commercial scale, in the large, in our country also, just you have initiated, and ICR has already taken a very key role, and but in newer, in new, yes, in future, certainly, when the area will be single, not available, people will just move towards the vertical in nature and in UAE and New Jersey or the Singapore, you know, the very multi-story just building, the artificially light 
and all kind of things they are just producing and the region is there they are the very rich and uh, this are the only cultivation just cultivation under the vertical farming is concerned really depend on the radiation and radiation either indoor or the outdoor is there so different and crop they require the different kind of less light intensity and different kind of just photo period is already there as per the artificial just natural condition even manipulating in the artificial condition is there artificial condition is there therefore the vertical farming it is very very important supplementary lighting there are two kinds of just you can see one is the throw LED light and secondly eyes and when required just providing the lighting is concerned but for this challenge is already there because very high cost it will be involved there only few people is there but government have to take the very lead and give the very incentive those who are the they are interested to just initiate the vertical farming in our country and more important is there the government should we give more and more incentive to where to area where the waste land is there because people are only coming towards the near of the city where the land is very costly but as for the policy decisions is the is the concern you have to give where the either the rocky area is there the hilly area is there or the waste land is there means far away places still you have not just uh, exploited that area there this kind of technique or the just who it should be just adopted and government should be give more and more emphasis for the vertical farming is still the no how means technology is, in, is not much available in our country and those who are the worker they are also not very much skillful or the having the knowledge about the just vertical farming the one major challenging is there the water salinization so at the right time in the right way you have to just adopt the all kind of nutrient for the vertical farming is concerned and since the cost of production is very high therefore the people should be also green minded in nature otherwise the cost the ultimately the taker will be very less in our country so that the mindset of the people should also be changed very just go for the advertisement and the advantage of the vertical farming everywhere and every forum you have to just popularize all this thing then it will be just in future the people will be encouraged toward the vertical farming really protected cultivation is concerned globally just you can see many country they have adopted but globally if you see the nearly 5.6 million hectare is there and china is alone is more point more than 3.4 million hectare and in our country just you can see you are not more than the 15 just 0.5 million hectare approximately and you are ranking nearly 38th rank and there are two kind of just potato cultivation the more is there the plastic covered and the plastic covered you know the i sun is the cyclone in any just natural climate is come is a blow so this therefore the some the problem is there in our country the glass covered the greenhouse is very less so government should give more and more just incentive toward the population of the glass covered the protected cultivation is concerned certainly it is very useful against the biotic and stasis all by and the just a biotic like the insect disease and weed simply not only this the seedling production and off season production and year round the availability protected cultivation certainly is a one way sinking land certainly at the just you can see the tomato when the control condition in our research farm also we had acreage is more than 300 ton per hectare capsicum is more than 200 but the actually potential is more than 500 ton per hectare is there cucumber is all already there the more important is there the very for any time for any just uh, production is very very high here and musk melon when the it is not available you can go in protected cultivation 
The third means is hydroponics for the future. Certainly, soil sculpture is there. And additional advantages are there. Many, many countries, they have all the adapters. But in our country also, hydroponics is still. And if you see the vertical farming and hydroponics, they are the twin together. Because in vertical farming, mostly they are going for the hydroponics. So, so but in hydroponics alone, uh, certainly water water consumption is very low less space is all, already less lesser also the essentially automation the hydroponics everything is the computer based there as and when required they initiate then start the watering and all kind of things is there as per the sensor basis already there and safe and clean and environmental this is the free from the environment so in your future uh, certainly in protective cultivation, in place of the uh, just protective cultivation, you have to give the more and more emphasis toward the hydroponics to further more and more production. Because in future, our population pressure will be more, area will be very less, so that you have to produce for more from less, so that for more, so you have to produce more and more from the less area. So certainly only hydroponics and the just uh, potato cultivation or the vertical farming is the only answer. Different things are there. Soil health cultivation already there. Just you can see in our country. And if you see the many kind of hydroponics is there. And many speaker might be all, already, some speaker might be already focused about the type of hydroponics because most of the lecture people are giving in place and it is true also because you have to give the more and more awareness among the researcher and among the just uh, those who are the interested in the cultivation and here also I am just uh, including my farm in my slide so different kind of hydroponics system is already available nutrient film technique already tube system is there even though the uh, traces Roof, 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 roofs also people are already adopted this kind of uh, things, this this kind of techniques. Europeanics is concerned in our country still for the just the tuber in the uh, potato we are growing. But this technique also very much useful. You can just replicate in other crop also, and particularly the where the root crop or the leafy vegetable is there, so aero, aeroponics technique can be also in the future. Gravity fed uh, hydroponic system because based on the gravity, they are utilizing the water, they are recycling the water, and very judiciously they are just stone and all kind of this technique are already there. Then nutrient film technique, along with the vegetable, they are just growing the, they are cultivating the fish also, and Whatever the excess water is there, the, they are utilizing for the fish production as well as and the judicial use of uh, hydroponics near the plant and the, whatever the nutrient is available in the just system, the, they are utilized, utilized by the fish. So these are the very, very useful and this technique or this system may be just used in the near future for the vegetable as well as the fish production. The sample yield number, if you see, as compared to the open field condition and all, all kinds of soil, agriculture per acre and, and hydroponics, the nearly more than 30 times more or 50 times more is going to, is going to reduce this to, in place of 8 to 10 tons, it will go for the hydroponics more than 300 to 400 tons. So just you can imagine, similar condition is the cucumber in place of 50 to 20, more than 200, tomato also more than 200 bell pepper potato oil means this is the example which can be motivated toward the go for the protected cultivation of the soil and culture certainly advantage is already there safe alternative to the soil disinfection this infection in spite of all the effort the soil one disease is already there so due to the soil less or the adoption of hydroponics and you you should be avoid the infection particularly the soil one diseases, high level of good quality, which is nowadays or the future for the export quality is there. 
the precise control of the nutrition as you name nutrition will be required through the computer and the sensor base it will be available to the plant so that you can just you know per annum how much government of india are giving subsidy towards the purchasing of the npk from the foreign country so if you go for this kind of technique particularly in vegetable we can save the farm that's the farm money and the soil tillage in preparation increasing crop length and total yield it is already there the early yield certainly if you want to just harvest early yield certainly the protected cultivation cultivation is the one means through which you can just harvest early respect of the environment policy government and the globally you are talking about the climate change greenhouse gases or the uh, soil organic carbon is concerned so many things if you to go for the uh, just protected cultivation certainly this issue can be addressed judiciously but disadvantage also there without the soil as a buffer any failure to the hydroponic system due to rapid plant death certainly this is very highly tech high tech is there regular monitoring is there if any slackness like the conventional open field condition even though if you are not monitoring and even though some production is there but maybe due to the high highly nature in the uh, just technical nature if any slackness is there entire death of the plant will be there you will not get you cannot harvest a single kg single gram the pathogen attack such as a damping up due to what cilium will certainly caused by the high moisture level this is the only reason and you have to go for and take the advantage take, take the precaution for this plant require different fertilizer and contaminate system so here also challenge is already there not only the advantage is there challenge is there but when but the challenge is there if you always just search the means of to just meet the challenge and newer features certainly even challenges will be there and you have to just search the to meet the challenge and the technique also you have to just search even though farm country is already there but in our situation you have to go for the research this already there then you have already talked about the grafting because still in our country it is very very difficult to shift from the open to the protected cultivation are the protected cultivation also the due to the soil borne diseases the certainly it is a major challenge to meet these challenges the only grafting technique the root stock is the only option either the same species as the intra species is there and the or uh, you have to go for the grafting technique many and certainly it is alternative tool for the breeding methodology because most of the vegetable crops if you see in spite of all the effort by the breeder and utilization of modern tools still we have not just meet the challenges of many things particularly the soil borne diseases nematode is concern so there even bacterial blight bacterial build is concern so that the through grafting techniques you can just overcome this problem and root induced changes is there environmental friendly is there though but here also the, the challenge is there the overcome cost compatibility barriers there because the many if we go for the inter specific is there but certainly the compatibility is the major issue and even though if there are also some uh, wild taxis also there the change in safe size and quality so that still the science you have to search the science uh the interaction of the root stock and the sign from just in, in vegetable crop so here also it still challenges are already there just you can see the graft in cucumber even though you can successfully you can grow for the cucurbita species the lofa the lofa means buttercup is concerned musk manner similar the cucurbita species the lofa rice garden means ice garden and ice garden is concerned they are very suitable for this watermelon Citrus, lanatus, ah, uh, into the wild water, watermelon. That, that, that is a tribe. So this means already the wild taxa, the root stock is already there. But still, you have to go for the interaction. What is the just molecular base of their interaction? How it is working? So these kind of things you have to just search the region and how it is working. 
then vegetable grafting just you can see biotic station abiotic fusarium verticillium bacterial phytophthora nematode abiotic moisture salinity thermal radiation and heavy metal so it means when this is the major advantage and against which biotic and abiotic you are just going for the this one soil one diseases the critical issue just you can see the cucumber has been grafted and the uh, just cucumber hybrid in, in soil one uh, just you can see the just situation where the grafting is not there the control condition is there some wilting you can, you can visualize where grafting is there the vegetative growth as well as the yield you can see so the advantage of grafting is concerned some general issue is there high establishment cost of polyhops and sulab just is already there emerging soil one pathogen and nematode problem is there highly technical skill involved is there involvement is there lack of facility for adequate training poor availability of accessories and fabrication still as per the uh, area where the wind velocity or the some maximum or the any cyclonic changes have become last 20 year or 50 year considering all kind of things you have to develop the model still this kind of things is lacking still and designing and size this this kind of things you are just blindly you are recommending to the farmer without considering the just designing and the past experiences of the all this cyclone or the wind velocity of that particular area but if you can also increase the productivity this is the basic basic things then near future certainly you have to go for the organic cultivation of in vegetable because vegetable certainly people will only go for the quality is concerned for nutrient is concerned vitamin is concerned so in this way the organic cultivation will be certainly people will be uh, go but through organic to meet the challenges of the open field condition even the particular condition and the uh, multi story crop multi story wide vertical the almost organic is there free from all the chemical you can see there but under open field condition of the poly or the glass house protected cultivation certainly the organic cultivation is a challenge against the not only production against the disease and pests are already there so that here also we have to meet the challenges indicator is there output is concerned and input is concerned the major area you have to just go either the soil health is concerned food safety is concerned and ultimately the economic value because today you are growing organically cost of cultivation is very high production is very less so the what were the expectation in the market you are not getting farmer farmers are not getting so that this things certainly somewhere somehow it is a discouraging so near future to meet you have to just go for the again when you are you will go for the organic cultivation you certainly consider the economic benefit of the organic cultivation and you have to adopt and the technique you have to just go for the technique some the production technology some the such the vegetable variety or the hybrid which are more response to the organic is still not a single variety you have bred so far which is maybe highly response to the organic so this kind of approaches you have to adopt organic you know the convention and the already the difference is there even the organic the moisture holding capacity is more as compared to the inorganic so that even the dark condition the organic we will go for the organic certainly it will be very very high and the organic the uh, nitrite and the nitrate when ever you go for the inorganic in nature in vegetable particularly the leafy vegetable or the root crop is concerned nitrite and nitrate concentration will be always high as compared to the organic in nature and secondly when we go for the organic in nature the balance either is the all the micronutrient or the micronutrient is already available in the soil or the rna organic so say already there so this will be already available to the plant and the balanced nutrient is available in the plant system it is already synthesized and the mobilized to the uh, commercial part of the vegetable and it means the nutrient also always the profiling of the nutrient of the commercial part of the vegetable 
will be more as compared to the inorganic nature when you go through organic is there. Integrated component, component of organic it is very primary and green manuring, crop rotation, mulching, bio fertilizer, organic, drip irrigation, bio pesticide, relative incorporation, these are the conventionally nowadays, but inconventionally or the inorganic is concerned, we have to just adopt the means. Nowadays, people are talking, government is already giving more and more, some of the state government, they are giving incentive to the farmer. We wasted recently, the, particularly the Himachal Pradesh, farmers are growing in the open field condition, particularly the tomato, tomato crop and the bell pepper in the open field condition through the natural farming. But their condition is entirely different because their organic carbon is very high. Soil pH is almost 6.5 to nearly 7 or the near, near to 6. Therefore, their response is more. But in our university also, you have initiated the natural farming, particularly the Jiva Amrit and Bija Amrit, and you have taken a policy decision that 25% this year, the NPK cut is there. For the, when you go for the uh, paddy cultivation is there, certainly response is there. But when you were you shifted towards the other crop, certainly still response is not encouraging, is encouraging the paddy and the other crop is there. But certainly the power of microbe is already there because natural farming, the whatever the microbial power is there, either the cow dung or the desi cow or the just the urine is there, uh, some microbe is already there. So, what natural farming near future, in my mind, whatever the uh, bio formulation you have already or the some uh, consortia you have already there, they are also natural, natural resources. You have to mix with the natural farm. Then it may be chances also there. The uh, efficacy of the whatever the Gomutra or the Vijamitra may be enhanced. And here also in your future, you have to go for all, all kind of just adoption. Vegetable production technology is already there. You will talk later on. The precision horticulture means when you talk about the precision means right place, right time, in the right way. It means you have to go and GPS system is already there or the drone technology because government of India nowadays giving almost each and every KPK of our country for the drone is there, even though agriculture university is there, in our university, you have already purchased the drone. It is very, very effective in near future. If you want to grow the uh, our cultivation, either the vegetable or any crop, and enhance the input efficiency or minimize the cost of production, the drone is the very, very useful. Or spraying of the either the nutrient or the any pesticide or the insecticide or any just kind of thing spraying is concerned, certainly drone and the judicial use of nutrient is concerned. Because drone technology is there, sensor is already there, chips is there, as per the uh, uh, availability, as per the need of the plant, they will spray the, that particular area, how much quantity of that nutrient is available. So this, certainly the precision horticulture is the need of the future, in near future, certainly for the enhance the production the for precision certainly gps system and drone may be play a very vital role then microgreen certainly in foreign country and many country the microgreen they are already in the market like the fresh vegetable they are just selling by tray wise or the production fresh is concerned but in our country it still is the preliminary in the fresh market it is not available only the dried or the just spiked one you know, just available in the market. So this is a huge market is there, very rich for the functional food. And really, if you see it, say, say that this is the functional food uh, is concerned, the micro is the really functional food. So rich source of vitamin, mineral and secondary metabolite, very intense flavor and the color contain the less nitrite is concerned the better bioavailability because whatever the nutrient is available in the because enzymatic activity is already there it is a 
very rich source along with the bioavailability is very high because otherwise whatever the nutrient is available due to the lack of bioavailability it may not be available to our our system but whenever the nutrient available in here due to the enzymatic activity the bioavailability is very high no pesticide prevent a range of diseases minus weight everything is there so near future certainly you have to go for the microgreens consumption due to lack of lot of diseases hypoxia headache indigestion lack of appetizer hypertension and hyperglycemia or the obesity is concern this only if you regularly people are take will take the or will just use the microgreen in their pudding hybrid early in the market certainly this kind of abnormality or the problem may not be there the growing market there is rapid cycle growth limited space is concern very limited cycle is concern rich flavor and diverse color is this high market value is there so you have to just stick to what the market is concerned and not only the vegetable is concerned nutrient film technique even though micro green also you can grow through the nft system under the hydroponic just concern is there then the problem certainly of the micro green is already there it is a very you don't have the facility to store it certainly the very highly perishable in nature It is very very difficult. High respiration rate and delicate leaf and easily build. So this is already there. This is the major challenges. Cell life of microgreens is only two three days at a main temperature. Preliminary studies suggest that microgreens should be stored at a temperature or nearly five degrees centigrade. So these kind of things is there and rapidly below below zero degrees centigrade. Certainly the physical damage is there because the most of the part is the only water is there though some the damage will already there so so that the temperature should not be less than 5 degrees centigrade is concerned so this is the challenges problem is there and accordingly you have to develop the technology you have to consider when you are grow for the micro green is concerned nowadays in spite of all the production any means of production the post harvest processing is the major mean to regulate the market country like brazil usa even the malaysia philippines saudi arabia there the post harvest process is, is more than 70 80% -80%. but in our country is still less than 2% or 2%, 2 some some people just report nearly 2.2% is there so that here you have to give more and more because the data is already available technique is already available but this is technique or the technology is only confined with the the research lab or the research station or the universities and you are not able to just promote our technology through private sector uh, to the consumer so this is the lacking and vegetable processing just you can see the vegetable because many scientists is concerned as per the expectation as per the estimation is concerned nearly more than 14000 crores per annum losses is there and the demand that i do to just avoid this thing as earlier you already explained ready to eat and easy to cook technique particularly in vegetable crop you have to adapt then then you can regulate the market you can just go for for the perishable just processing uh, of the vegetable in nature pharma automated automobile because due to the lack of all kind of facility and organized or unorganized sector you are not able to promote the our post harvest ya yeah, the just process product process product at at the consumer end processing target from 2020 to 2030 concern you all technology help to reduce post harvest losses from nearly 15% to currently 2.5% because on an average if you see nearly 15% is there so our strategy should be there ki it should be not more than 2.5% in house the value addition and processing because earlier now just now nearly 2% we have to just enhance nearly 15% then enhance the export of the vegetable because export of the vegetable 
it is also very less. So that product of the 10%, minimum 10%, even though other than the onion, none, none of the other crop, the, our production, uh, the export value is uh, nearly uh, nearer to not more than 1% is there. Onion, it is nearly 10%. But in other vegetables also, out of the total production, our the export value should be just enhanced up to the 10%. Then you can regulate the processing and the fill and the vegetable production is concerned. Just it is a post harvest losses is concerned. Different scientists, as per the secret, uh, two two times they have already uh, they have go for the post harvest losses, 2015-14 and 2012 uh, by Dr. Nanda again to 2015 by Dr. Jha. Their losses is almost uh, almost similar except the cabbage, cauliflower, cauliflower, garden pea, and the, just the, these two, three or four, otherwise uh, onion, tomato, or the mushroom are almost near. Major challenges, the cold chain management, is still it is not available in our country. I am very limited, nearly 7,500 7, cold storage is already available in our country. Nearly 34.95 million ton is the require nearly 61 million ton. So this means the cold chain with the facility you have to enhance in our country for the future vegetable production or the for the future vegetable processing concern. Wide range of infrastructure and technical limitations are already there. The huge gap in food chain from the harvest to the consumer. From just farm gate to the consumer point, really the lot of the limitation is already there. Either the storage is concerned, transportation is concerned, packing is concerned, marketing is concerned, the minimum things is already there. Then the sorting grading facility. In our country still, the mechanized sorting grading facility is limited, is limited scale. Even though most of the market, if you, see, if you go far, even other than the supermarket, the, they are not our production, our the just fresh uh, uh, vegetable or not as per the grading or the processing is concerned. That the print get so that the consumer uh, they can purchase accordingly. Lack of climate, complete value chain in the vegetable, so that the value chain is still it is a lacking in the vegetable is concerned. Driver or post harvest losses, phases, key activities, the harvesting and the primary processing. Just you have already explained what are the primary processes. Even the pre cooling is there, grading is there, sorting, all kinds of things is there. Storage and crop protection, just you can see the cold, warehousing, quality control, assessment, processing, grading, sorting, secondary processing. Means second generation agriculture is very, very needed nowadays as per the vegetable management production or the after production management is there. So that the packaging, transportation, market information, wholesale market, real retail market. It means it should be very linkage and apart from this market intelligence. If anywhere there is shortage of production, then at the same time you have to just send the where the it is growth in the market. It means the market intelligence is very, very important, particularly in the vegetable, just production of the future vegetable discussion. Only addition and reduction of post orders, simple as we are drying, modified, my piece concern. Here, though my piece very much particularly is the processed one, or the chips is there. But in vegetable, the whatever the produce is there, fresh vegetable is there, or the just dried vegetable is there, still the my piece is not there. So you have to apply already. Uh, and dried powder, either the uh, tomato is already there, or the any vegetable, dried powder, or the dried farm. As soon as you have to dried one, purchase from the market, you put in the Soak in the, in the water, it should be fresh as it should be just ready for the just cooking or the vegetable is concerned, colony purpose is concerned, as and when required. So these kind of facility is still is not available in the market. Technology is there, but you have to promote this technology. Hydroculture communities, certainly the supply chain is there from the harvest, timing, grading, packing, storage. So these kind of things you have to just adapt it. Value addition. The status of future. The highly decentralized, large number of units of cottage or home scale sector with 250 ton per annum, multi 
national company larger capacity with the means what i am i am what about the cottage industry uh, scale industry is there they are very very the low capacity is there the efficiency is very less even though just you can the per annum if you see there are 250 ton per annum but the bigger industry is there there are per hour is is capacity is more than this one so that i thought the small scale industry is there there also you have to technological advancement in the pharma thus the scaling their knowledge i develops the instrument of the implement is concerned or the technology is concerned the processes is concerned so you have to promote the small scale industry to promote the vegetable in the near future in spite of the big industry major issue of harvesting a vegetable proper maturity stage still farmers are not able to harvest their just crop as a proper maturity due to the lack of this knowledge the post harvest life, life also adversely affect as well as the physiological losses due to the physiological losses certainly the availability of the nutrient also losses then the quick removal of the field heat lack of the cold chain certainly this is the issue non existence of the grading washing waxing and packaging facility then non availability of the train man power lack of linkage between the industry government and institution this is the major because here you require the policy support to the link all the industry to the government agency as well as the farmer because government is giving nowadays the fpo farmers producer organization and in our country whatever the farmer producer are mentioned is there 90% is only based on the vegetable crop but in they are already registered for the vegetable crops but they are doing the some other business so that in real sense whatever they have to promote the vegetable vegetable production certainly through the fpo because the basic concept of the fpo from production to the market and only this things is required in vegetable in the future from production to the market because like the family doctor is concerned near future you have to go for the family vegetable grower because in the market vegetable are already there people are thinking that what about the vegetable is available in the market they are very very full of the pesticide so that if the family vegetable grower will be there they will supply to the uh, sub societies or the some family or the uh, they are residing in the village cities or the villages and people will be trust that what about the vegetable they are growing they are free from the pesticide and highly qualitative in nature certainly our vegetable will be promoted so that in near future like raag dairy or the amul daily you are just giving the packet door to door i mean the market also fresh pure people are purchasing in the same manner and same fashion vegetable you have to just popularize in your near future i i to just for the up scaling the and the more benefit more profitability towards the vegetable is concerned fewer frontier area certainly nutritional industry ready to eat and easy to cook cut pharma vegetable industry is required in our country it is a very preliminary stage post harvest treatment of the vegetable in basis on export brand still it is very preliminary stage cost effective processing equipment and innovative packaging technology based on the nano technology because this is the future and robotic in nature robot you have to utilize in the future near future the future nutrient nutrition strategy is there either a nutrition rich vegetable or the commonly consumed vegetable because many many technology you have to just adapt it within the same system within the vegetable within the you have to just screen out the varieties or through biological means you have to incorporate the gene so that in one way it should be rich in nutrition and secondly the bioavailability of the diet nutrition should be enhanced which means the in the both way the vegetable should be rich in nutrition and the after the consumption the bioavailability of that nutrient should be very high so these two approaches should be adopted in near future the way of hardware in the vegetable is certainly the genetically edited vegetable is very very just need of our because the genetic edited involve the tickling or altering the already existing dna sequence you have to go for it and if you see the genetically edited vegetable with the higher amount of bio 
compound is there. So you have to manipulate all these things. And certainly in near future, uh, you have to shift toward for the ad um, advanced research and to use the genetically edited in vegetable addition in vegetable. The climate proof vegetable is concerned. In near future, if you see either our soil or the just air is, is there, either heavy metal, heavy metal or the ozone is there, so it means different kind of heavy metal or this atmospheric pollution or the soil pollution, they will adverse, they will be already there. Then you have to adopt the strategy, you have to breed a variety that should be grow under that situation, and but it should be not be adversary effect. Means whatever the heavy metal is there, they should be grow there, but the absorption of the heavy metal by the plant system it should not be there. It particularly the root and leafy vegetable. Because in the nearby the cities, they should grow. But you have to breed the variety through the use of biological tools so that it, it should be free from the heavy metal or the all kind of things. So you have to adopt this technology. Then root start breeding and the molecular genetics, just you have already explained that the understanding the molecular mechanism that probably underlying the craft induced change could be paved the way to the better knowledge over the root start interaction. So that in the better interaction, how it is affecting, how what is the science behind it, you have to just go for this. Then near future is more important is the photosynthesis efficient varieties and hybrid. Just you know, in the limited scale, the speed breeding is already there. You are just reducing the cycle. So the artificial situation you are creating under the controlled condition, the whatever the cycle is, only one or two cycles in a year, you have to just advance in nearly seven to eight cycles in a year. But this kind of gene you have to incorporate in the plant system in the near future so that these kind of systems should be adopted under control consider either vertical farming or the, or the protected farming, even though in the open field condition also. So in near future, this, uh, this may be only possible through the selection for a high and sustained instrumental conductance, manipulation of stimulate or location towards the reproductive primordia to establish a larger potential scene could indirectly increase the total carb photosynthesis, manipulation of key photosynthetic enzyme, enzyme for increasing the photosynthesis ability and the catalase because in one way you have to enhance the photosynthetic ability, in another way you have to just down reduce the photorespiration also and this can be only possible to the modification of the chloroplast in the, through the biotechnological means. So this kind of technique in near future for the vegetable is concerned, you have to adopt it. Then thermo and photo intensity variety because this is the major important. You have to break the barrier of region and season. Means the photo intensity genotype in vegetable crop may help grow salt day time. Means or the salt day variety may grow in the long day or the long day variety in the salt day. Means and these kind of things you have to just incorporate the gene within the within the within the crop and the variety so that you have to meet the challenges in the near future. Metabolomy because vegetable is the for the nutrition is concerned. You have to make the profiling profiling of each and every vegetable varieties and therefore generation of the metabolic profiling of the vegetable with the an emphasis on the indigenous vegetable because the national important vegetable you are already doing, but the indigenous vegetable you have to do it so that the biochemical outcome of the change in the genome, trans transcriptome and the proteome that could be exploited further enhancing the metabolic value and the new vegetable variety. So this is the most important in the near future and you have to do for all the kind of things. One more thing, more important in the near future is there the breeding for plant architecture and ideotype. This is a very, very important, even though through the phenotyping, it is limiting nowadays, 
but near future you have to develop a variety that should be perform very good very nice and that the predictable minor minor within a defined environment you have to just breed a variety for the either the protected or the any kind of means means predictable minor you have to just incorporate the gene there therefore it may be only possible through the enhanced the photosynthesis ability to enhance the input use efficiency with minimum use of input we have to harvest the more dry matter or the early variety so that we have to just enhance the the cropping enhance the uh, cropping intensity means more than 600 700 cropping intensity should be there so this kind of approach you have to adopt it i see we have already in near future vegetable we will just note for the engineer are edible vaccine are the as a source of the health so that we have to incorporate here the generate the breed the variety that should be at the vaccine are the very rich in the particular in nutrient and vitamin so i said when the vitamin and nutrient is required people will take the few gram of vegetable or the 100 gram or 50 gram that will supplement the a particular amount of the nutrient and that that, that will be just uh, uh, you i is good i is the whatever the uh, supplement you are taking through the through the available in the market so in near future this kind of strategy also you have to adopt and if you see the crop loss model is concerned because certainly still in foreign country the modeling is already there but in our country still the crop crop loss modeling and that should be particular in the practical use it is also in preliminary stage digital paste mapping is there as soon as any paste migrate from one part to the another part the through the surveillance uh, and that should be easily easily available through the wire sensor to each and every part of the country so this kind of strategy you have to just adopt it then the crop loss already you have already just then the ecological engineering because when you talk about the soil environment and the free from the pesticide you have to just go for the habitat management because the cultural practices is there you have to just know about the what kind of our natural enemies are there or the uh, you have to just more and more so that in near and artificial in the natural condition their population should be there there regularly bio regularly it should be just regulate the other means of pesticide uh, other means of pest or disease so in ecological engineering also as earlier it was there but nowadays due to the exorbitant use of pesticide and all kind of things it is a missing but near future again you have to adopt this kind of strategy then the chemical ecology means within the system plant system or the artificially you have to synthesize in such a way like the hormone is there lure is already there and interspecies also there within the same species it is only presently is there but across the species it should be there so that either the insect is there or all kind of, this may not be just in just enhance the increase the population their population so this kind of also then the plant micro interaction because still and the national bureau of, of the microorganism as the mau it is already there they can survive more than 12 ph or the minus or the heat even though the high temperature or the low temperature so these kind of things you have to give more and more emphasis and the where this kind of situation emerges there the power of this microbe you have to apply and you have to incorporate in the soil system then nowadays you are talking lot about the enhances the carbon sequestration or the carbon capture through the conservation practices in vegetable farming because i soon as you will enhance the crop intensity certainly the carbon sequestration will be the one of the major i am potato cultivation or the multi story or the vertical farming certainly the greenhouse gases will be the major issue so you have to just generate so that they will absorb the carbon you have to just go for the variety development they should absorb the carbon or balance all kind of just things then the energy water or nutrient efficient variety so this is also 
the near future very very important and the last the conclusion is there the popularization population pressure is a major drive for the shift the vegetable research in the near future multiple stage resistance you have already talked a lot the technology like protected cultivation vertical farming grafting will be the major player for the sustainable production the country is equipped with the wide range of post harvest technology for the value addition of the agriculture crop organic farming and natural farming products vegetable will be the more demanded micro green world provinging future and artificial intelligence and machine learning will be the highly rewarding so this is the near some what were the experiences knowledge you gain as a vegetable scientist the whole last three year i am out of touch with the vegetable but what about the knowledge and you have learned from so far i am you have just shared with the learned audience and i am thankful to dr pram singh sir dr pritam kaliya ji and dr my colleague dr sarend rajan who provided opportunity to interact with the our student or those those who are the teacher is all kind of our our knowledge and secondly i am thankful to the dr sudhakar pandey and vidya sagar who just prepared the slide through which i could just present up today thank you very much if any things i am ready to just give the answer sir thank you dr vijendra singh ji for a very 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 exhaustive a uh, lecture covering i think almost all aspects of uh, vegetable crop and leading are uh, taking us uh, to the one point only that there is a bright future for vegetable industry hope you agree with that and since we have taken i think uh, more than uh, one and a half hour matlab more than 1 hour 40 minutes i think loge so far so we are not offering any comment on your um, presentation because that will be a simple repetition and we will not be able to emphasize that much as you have already emphasized you have laid a, a, a specific at a specific places lot of state on a particular thing so that is a good thing uh, so there are uh, many question and appreciation congratulations but uh, we will be able uh, to take maximum two and i think one question is already there it is a question or uh, uh, should i read for you or you can read it dr saab uh, dr surendra kumar tikku has asked some ha yaar griti just sir already it is on bio fortified vegetable one of the issue that needs to be uh tackled uh, i supplemented something i have already just to be ready because i already supplemented for the vex in jampur he has already seen happening in japan a part of europe he has supplemented only some part of my talk sir he is not asking okay if he has supplemented we congratulate him him and you too is good and uh, the uh, importance of bio fortified vegetable can't be minimized i'm sorry kaliya sir you must be ready to speak on that but uh, on your behalf i say that the bio fortified vegetables have the future and all referralia related with that has to be developed it is not dr uh, next question shivangi next question if any uh dr r b ra nice topic well elaborated covering entire aspect that's what we are saying pros and cons of vegetable production congratulations with due regards it's a good comment uh, congratulations dr sa dr kaliya can you uh, take 2 minutes only uh, after this after this uh, uh dulam sivraj every aspect is uh, summarized in the presentation and elaborately explained sir i would like to thank dr bram singh thank you so much with folded hand i accept your uh, greetings for arranging the lecture to enlighten 
the student community. Okay, and congratulations to Dr. Vijayendra Singh because I am simply an instrument, I am instrumental only. Na? Parveen Kumar ji, Misra ji, sir, uh, is any area specific poly house structure recommendations in India because most of the poly houses damage just after installation? You are very right, but at the same time, Area specific recommendations are also there, but not at the government level for providing the subsidy. You come with me uh, in Ladakh, we will show you the different structure and which is suitable only for Ladakh. If you put it in Chandigarh, it will fail. So area specific structures are there, sir. They are there. But if you uh, see from that point of view, the subsidy, etc., because the government has got its own uh, problem to generalize the thing. They can't have the subsidy structure, center government, the one for this state, another for this state, and this and that. That's right. You can discuss with me. You are welcome. I will be able, uh, rather I would love to uh, answer or discuss this question. Uh, next one. Shivangi, if there is any other question. If no, Dr. Kalia ji, kindly be brief. Be brief. And just if you can churn out uh, uh, or take a cream uh, out of his lecture, cream, only the cream, little cream, not that uh, 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 one liter or two liter, no. So, okay, sir. Okay. okay, sir. Uh, I think we have had a, a very elaborate talk on vegetable crops in general, talking all aspects, one to all, future. Also, what is going to come in next 2050, what technology, production technology, improvement technology, all aspects uh, Dr. Brijendra Singh has touched very nicely and elaborately. So viewers, whether students, whether farmers, all category of people can understand what is useful for them from this. And uh, the newer ones who want to take entrepreneurship, there is a material for them also to take up. But uh, as far as biofortified, you mentioned, and the comment given by Dr. Tiku, I do not agree because it is different matter. We do not allow the child to take birth and talk about the things, what he'll be doing afterward, whether what we should do to him. We should create the things first. We should make them available. And to talk first is that vegetables are naturally biofortified already. So that's why we take take less of chapati, take less of rice, increase more of, more of vegetables in your diet, make it diversified with the vegetable, and you get all nutrients available. What we are talking about biofortified here, because the uh, hijacking by the cereal crop breeders have already been taken up because their crops are poor and they are uh, rich sources of crude uh, nutrients, which are not digestible to us, which are not bioavailable to us. And that's why they have of taking the things because they have to take more of uh, the uh, funds from the government and the government also to fill up the belly of people with the full rice plate and 10, 15 chapatis. And nobody looks towards the crops, which are already good sources. You put a person who is already on a uh, cereal crop diet for a week on vegetables and you will see the notice of uh, the effect of nutrients on his face. That is what I'm talking about, that the vegetables are naturally biofortified, already rich in all the nutrients which we are talking about. But what we talk to make uh, the uh, uh, right use of the huge production, which is taking place 335 tons, it is being talked about, the horticulture has reached in, in the last uh, uh, phase of uh, this statistics, which is coming up, uh, where the extra production will go. So here the doctor, uh, Dr. Bijendra Singh, although has not talked about that, secondary metabolites, which are the only thing which we should concentrate breeding future varieties rich in metabolites, whichever vegetable has plenty of them already predominant uh, metabolites, they should be considered. So the nutrients, such metabolite uh, dense varieties need to be produced for the future so that whatever is required in the fresh market to make our people healthy should go in the fresh market and rest of the produce should, should go to the industry through contract farming also it can be upgraded. So that is the future uh, thing which we should concentrate upon. Uh, but Dr. Vijayendra uh, Singh has very nicely talked about, uh, about the water productivity, about the 
climate resilience, which is very important, and all the technology which is required for the future, he has already narrated them in detail. I think that note should be taken up, and the time is to uh, go ahead with these technologies. The research institutes must concentrate upon these rather than uh, talking about the traditional ways of doing the things. They are required to be upgraded with the new technology, whether it's the new breeding techniques to hasten the process of developing such imp uh, improved varieties which are required for the future, not the numbering of the varieties that, that, that we have 100 varieties or 400 or 1000. We may have 1000 or 2000 varieties, but if they are not useful from the future use point of view, they are not useful from the industry point of view, there is no use. So that's why the message is that we must concentrate upon all those points has been very nicely detailed by Dr. Bijender Singh and uh, the uh, the planners, the researchers, the entrepreneurs had to take notice of all those things. With that, I thank you, sir. For oh, thank you, Dr. Kalia. Dr. Rajan, Dr. Rajan, just few, few, few sentences kindly. Sum up. Sir, it is very difficult to sum up because uh, <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, but but even then, sum up. <laughs> I can't out of that, but we should, in conclusion, I should say that it was a great lecture by a learned speaker on different aspects of vegetable research, and his experience has benefited all uh, the our uh, listeners, particularly, and definitely this will be available on the net, and people will be benefited because it has covered several aspects which are most of the time not touched by many of the speakers and he has concluded in nice uh, in a nice way with a way forward in the vegetable research what are uh, the things to be done and many of the novel ideas were listed by him uh, we are grateful to him for his uh, great lecture and uh, in conclusion i should say it should it was a very comprehensive lecture and we learned a lot of uh, uh, many things from a speaker like dr bijinder singh uh, we thoroughly enjoyed it and it was highly informative talk uh, full of great experience and it is a in a various areas of vegetable production not only in breeding in various areas of the vegetable science thank you very much thank you dr rajan nicely summed up uh, <clears throat> see um, uh, accept giving thanks to viewers and uh, my both the colleagues co-organizers and Shivangi, who is managing this one, no? and uh, Dr. Uh, Bijendra Singh, who deserves perfuse. Uh, uh, I think, uh, I what should I say? Uh, I think two, three minutes uh, uh, long applause, big applause for him uh, for giving such an excellent uh, uh, lecture. I won't take much time, I, I assure you. Uh, I will sum up uh, uh, sum up in few words uh, as I was requesting. Dr. Bijendra Singh has become an encyclopedia of Indian vegetable science and technology. And he has nicely shown what is the future for vegetable production whether it is a vertical farming, microgreen, vegetable grafting, precision farming, uh, even the drones, AI, artificial intelligence, and uh, nanotechnology and what not. And we definitely are going to enjoy the product of these technologies in the near future, I'm 100% sure. Whether we get the grant, whether we get the importance, whether we get the adequate staff or not, but the vegetable science is going to progress. And the better example, nothing can be better example than that. In West Bengal, we don't have much of attention or research and uh, technologies are this. Do regard to them uh, and the university they are what doing, they deserve uh, all appreciation. But uh, as the emphasis would have been given, it is not there, that much emphasis is not there, but they are the largest producer of vegetables in India, West Bengal. The planner should make not of it. Uh, we should take advantage of that and exploit that uh, uh, potential, uh, West Bengal potential is followed by that. So with these words, uh, friend, thank you so much to be with us. We are extremely sorry. We have uh, taken double the time what we uh, talk about. But I think the topic, you will remember, 
and uh, let me say if you take home his last slide his last slide he has summarized everything in that that is good enough if you just follow that with that thank you so much we meet again next sunday with the again the future uh, instead of vegetable the fruit future uh, future fruit farming future fruit farming the speaker is dr v b patel from iri till then bye see you uh, next uh, sunday okay. thank you so much okay sir namaskar namaskar thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.